Hello, Joana Colucci here with our 5-minute Farm Doc Daily about an alternative look at the 2022-2023 corn and soybean markets and some red flags waving for the U.S. field crop sector. Although Brazil had a record harvest, a broader view reveals no significant increase in South American production of corn and soybeans in the last crop season. In fact, South American soybean production is below trend, mainly because Argentina is having its worst harvest in more than two decades. Moreover, U.S. domestic use and exports are struggling not just for corn and soybeans, but for all large acreage U.S. field crops. Before we continue, make sure to subscribe to watch more Farm Doc videos. Let's start with a quick overview of South American production. Over the last five years, South America has accounted for about 54% of global soybean production and 15% of global corn production. Brazil is not the only producer there, but the largest by far. Over the last five years, shares of world soybean production have been roughly 37% for Brazil, 13% for Argentina, and 4% for the rest of the region, such as Paraguay, Bolivia, and Uruguay. Shares of world corn production have been about 90% for Brazil, 5% for Argentina, and 1% for others. Let's move on to the discomparisons of recent South American corn and soybean production. Brazilian 2022 corn production is up 13% versus 2021 and 35% versus 2017-2021 average production. Brazilian 2022 soybean production is up 19% compared to 2021 and 2021. 2% versus the same five-year period. On the other hand, due to the intensive drought caused by La Nina, Argentine corn production is down 30% versus 2021 and down 26% versus 2017-2021. Argentine soybean production is down even more, minus 43% compared to 2021 and minus 46% versus the same five-year period. In total, South American output versus 2021 has changed very little, down 0.5% for corn and up 4% for soybeans. Compared to the five-year period, corn production is up 14% and soybean production is up 3%. In summary, these comparisons don't apply a significant increase in South American corn and soybean production in the last crop season. Now let's take a look at the change in total American use compared to the use in the rest of the world for five field crops corn, soybeans, wheat, cotton, and rice. The specific comparison is the percent change in 2022 use versus 2017-2021 average use. Only for soybeans is 2022 American use higher than the average in this five-year period. For the other crops, U.S. use has declined while the rest of the world's use has increased. Further exploring the change in American use, exports are a clear issue. 2022 exports are lower than 2017-2021 average exports for every crop, except soybeans, for which exports are the same. For other four crops, the decline in U.S. exports ranges from minus 16% for cotton and wheat to minus 31% for rice. Domestic use has declined quite a bit for cotton over this period. U.S. exports of the five crops are also performing poorly relative to the rest of the globe. The rest of the rural 2022 exports are up double digits for rice, wheat, soybeans and corn versus 2017-2021 exports. U.S. exports are down double digits except for soybean exports, which are flat. 
The rest of the rural 2022 cotton exports are down 11%, better than the minus 16% for U.S. cotton exports. So, in summary, despite the record Brazilian corn and soybean crops, South American production is not large in the last crop season. In fact, South American soybean production is below trend. For markets and U.S. farmers, it's South American, not Brazilian production, that matters. Use of 2022 U.S. field crops is struggling. This conclusion holds whether the comparison is with recent American use or the rest of the world's use. U.S. exports are concerning, especially if you compare with the rest of the globe. Lack of the large South American corn and soybean crops with struggling U.S. demand, especially for exports, causes concern for the U.S. field crop sector. However, weather always has the final say regarding crop prices and returns, especially for an uh, individual year. You can read more about this in the Farm Doc Daily listed in the video description below. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment. We'll be happy to answer them. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more Farm Doc videos. See ya next time!